So I'm gonna leave my electric fan on because I can't open my window because of the smoke, because of the fires. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna try to shout as loud as I can and I'll fix the audio, but you're gonna hear a fan. Think of it as like ASMR, I guess. Hi, Puerto friends. Welcome or welcome back to my Chanel. I'm Trisha Fuerte and this is Fuerte Body. Today on Fuerte Body, we are celebrating 200 Fuerte friends. Thank you so, so, so much for all of your support and I'm so excited for all the content I have planned for all of you and all the new Fuerte friends that we are going to make. When I celebrated my 100 subscribers, I ate 100 Lumpia Shanghai. What an adventure that was. And I definitely learned from that mukbang. Um, so I'm not wearing pants or bra. Wear my loose Stranger Things t-shirt. My hair is up. I'm very excited and determined to finish these two whole homemade pizzas. Shout out to my mom. She learned how to make pizza in quarantine. She's very good at it. Two whole pizzas in honor of my 200 subscribers. Fun fact about me, I actually love cold pizza. I like cold pizza over fresh out of the oven pizza. And I'm so hungry, so I'm gonna take my first slice now. Like my preferred way to eat pizza is to order it like really, really late at night, maybe like 11 p.m. or later, wait for it to arrive, get the pizza, tip the pizza person, and then leave it on my kitchen counter, go to sleep, wake up the next day and just open the box and eat a slice to my face, maybe two slices, maybe three, maybe two whole pizzas but i just really like cold pizza it's like a thing they still look cold in new york which is why i think i'm just meant to live in new york anyways cheers the next 100 fourth friends there is pineapple on the pizza because that's how my mom made pizza in the Philippines. In the Philippines, like pineapple is like such a staple topping. They like love it. So we grew up eating pineapple on our pizza. So we like it. Let me know in the comments below if you like fresh out of the oven pizza or if you prefer cold leftover pizza like me and if you like pineapple on your pizza or not. also over 100 degrees here in the bay right now so i'm gonna leave my electric fan on because i can't open my window because of the smoke because of the fires so you're just gonna have to bear with me i'm gonna try to shout as loud as i can and i'll fix the audio but you're gonna hear a fan think of it as like asmr i guess what I love about cold pizza is just like the way the cheese and the sauce set. Oh, just the way it sits on the dough, it's just so perfect. But I feel like when it's fresh out of the oven, it's just too hot. And you're not getting all the flavors like with each other. Mm. Mm -hmm. My mom. Also wanted me to tell y'all that this is homemade sauce. It's like a white sauce, like an Alfredo sauce. And it's homemade dough as well. Love that. Thinking about these milestone mukbangs or how people eat on camera, it made me want to talk to you all about how people need to stop commenting on what people eat 
kind of food people eat, how much people eat. I see a lot of YouTube videos that are like, why you should stop eating fast food or why I eliminated carbs from my entire life completely and why you should too. And like, but you know what? Like I've said so many times before, every single person's body is different and some people need carbs. Some people need to eat meat. Some people enjoy fast food. You know what that's called when somebody is getting second or third servings at a party or bringing McDonald's to their desk at lunch one day or they are posting a three by three in and out burger or, or you can eat sushi on their Insta story. Do you know what that's called? It's called none of your goddamn business. So stop saying shit. Food is so much more than just nutrients or fuel, it's celebration, it's tradition, it's culture. So you should never feel guilty for engaging in one of the most special activities in the human experience. And you should never make people feel guilty for doing that either. good pizza that's good pizza mom always I also like a lot of meat on my pizza love meat so there's chicken bacon ham some pepperoni on this one there wasn't pepperoni on this one there is some spinach in there what I've also noticed when people comment on what people are eating they may be actually like saying it to themselves like food shaming themselves but they're doing it in front of other people so that's like that's even worse because you're food shaming yourself and like i've said in other videos you don't know other people's relationships with their body or with their food and it oftentimes happens when you're getting food with each other or you're sharing a meal with each other like why would you bring that negative energy into such a special space and do your mental space? So I'm talking about like when you're out with your friends and somebody says something like, Oh, I was so bad today. Diet starts tomorrow. Or, Oh, I really shouldn't be eating this right now because of our Vegas trip next weekend or like whatever. They say stuff like that. And you happen to think that you're eating fine. And you don't question it until they bring it up. We gotta be more conscious of like what we're saying, not only to ourselves, but what we're saying around other people. And also you shouldn't be putting into your head that you should feel guilty or that you should punish your body for making a choice to eat food that was going to serve you in a way you needed it to serve you in that moment. Because we know that food serves you in different ways and serves different parts of you in different ways and that's okay. Sometimes you need great food. Sometimes you need comfort food. Sometimes you need food to re-energize you after a workout. Sometimes you need food to celebrate a birthday. You need food for all different types of reasons. It is absolutely 100% okay. In fact, I encourage it to honor those different ways, different times of your day, of your life, all the time, anytime, it doesn't matter. You don't have to explain it to anyone. Who can serve you because it's quick and you have a 30 minute lunch break? Who can serve you because you have family in town and they packed homemade food in an Tupperware for you and you haven't had homemade food in a long time? Who can serve you because there's catering at work and there's hella leftovers so you can go for it and you can take it home. I know that feeling. Who can serve you because you're going out to happy hour with your friend and there's appetizers in the happy hour, aka my favorite happy hour. It doesn't matter. You don't have to explain to anyone what you're eating and why you're eating it. That is between you and your food only. You know, if somebody does comment on what you're eating, how much you're eating, or what kind of food you eat, or what you ate, 
the day before and you feel comfortable calling them out, you know what you can say? You can say, yes, I chose to eat this because I know it's what's going to make me happy right now, energized right now, whatever adjective you know it is going to serve you right now. However you want to explain to them that that is what you need in that moment. You could also say, I know this is what my tummy needs right now. I know this is what my soul needs right now. I know this is what my heart needs right now. I know this is what my butt needs right now after like day yesterday. It's what my mouth needs right now because it's a hot day. I really want this boba ice cream bar. However you want to tell them that it is serving a specific part of you that you need in that moment. You know what? The same goes for when you start to food shame yourself. Like I said in a few other videos, fat phobia and diet culture has been taught to us long, 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 long time ago. So you may slip and forget and start to feel guilty sometimes when you're still in the process of unlearning all of that. And when you catch yourself saying things like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that or I'll be better tomorrow or I really shouldn't be eating this right now. Remind yourself that you chose to eat that to make a part of you feel good, to satisfy a part of you for that moment. Now that that moment has passed, whether or not you eat the same way or eat differently in a few hours or tomorrow, remind yourself that you're not just eating food because it is a nourishing activity, but it is also an enjoyable activity. Okay, I have to take like an hour break because it's 102 degrees out here and it just got too hot. So I went for a walk, like a quick little walk out in my neighborhood with my mom and my sibling. And I made a TikTok, so it's just a nice little break there because sitting in this room eating pizza and talking i just couldn't it's just too hard it's just a lot but we have seven slices left and so let's do this Degrassi. I was watching Degrassi. <laughs> oh, Emma. Mm. Oh my gosh. I had no idea that this was the episode that I'm watching. So originally, Emma was doing a project of how if you eat healthy in the morning, you're gonna perform better in school. And then Spooner and JT messed up her results and they like weren't performing better because they actually performed better eating junk food because they were in a better mood. And she was like, oh, my project is ruined. And so it's a science fair. And she's saying that her hypothesis is ruined. And Manny, her best friend, Pinai Hot Girl Queen, she's eating a Twix. And it's the sign fair right in the morning. And she was like, oh, do you want some? I'm sorry that your project didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. And then Emma was like, a chocolate bar in the morning? And Manny was like, I know, but it just, it tastes like happy. Like this makes me happy. And so like, I feel better. And then Emma was like, oh my God, that's what my project is about. You're supposed to eat what makes you feel good in the morning. Ah, oh, I love it. 
how serendipitous. I mean, same goes for every meal. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, you want to make you feel good. Three slices left. The hoops are coming off. Classic. Oh. Now, if somebody does trust you enough to invite you into a conversation about what they've been eating or what they just ate, like I've said in other videos, it's important to remember that you do not know somebody else's relationship with their body or their relationship with food. So it's important to stay conscious about your word choice. When it comes to food, always bring it back to how they're feeling in that moment. If they seem like they're reacting or feeling some type of way after eating something, you can ask them, well, did you enjoy your meal? they say yes then that's good that's what matters you could also ask them well do you feel like you have enough energy for your day or the rest of the day if they say yes then that's good that's what matters if they say no to any or both of these questions you could say things like we well, should get something that you know will make you feel better do you need me to go with you do you want me to help you think of something should we order something for later if you're cool we could always get something now and you could always save it for later Things like that, that shows that you are there, you're caring, re-emphasizing that food is to make you feel good. Now, if it's something that literally had to do with the food that made them feel like literally sick, then you know it's a different case and you and your friend know that they shouldn't eat that extent. Because again, food is to make you feel Two pizzas, 200 subscribers. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you celebrate with food. Please remind yourself every meal that food is both fuel and fun. You should never ever feel guilty for what you eat or how much you eat or what temperature your food is, especially if it's cooked already. Let me know in the comments if you like cold pizza too. I'm trying to find my people. But for now, for more Fuerte Fun with food, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you have already, thank you, thank you so much for being my first 200 Fuerte friends. And I will see you in my next video again every Sundays and Wednesdays. All my love, always and always. I'm Trisha Fuerte. It's so freaking hot. And this it's quite a body.